This is going to be a very short tutorial uh, about stoichiometry and what do you have to do to solve these kind of problems. So what we're starting off here is that this is a different kind of a conversion factor where we're going to go from moles of one chemical to moles of another chemical and we're going to do that using the mole ratio from a balanced equation. So that's going to change our mole map as you can see down here in the corner so we're going to have something like grams to moles, moles to moles, and moles to grams. Or we could start with molecules, or we could start with liters. For each of these, the clues are we're looking for the given quantity in the problem, and then we're going to go to the desired unit that we're trying to go for, and this little heart of the problem is going to be based on the given and desired, and then we're going to do a couple of quick examples. Now the new conversion factor comes from the balanced equation. So if we had a problem where we were starting with uh, CO2, so that was our given, and we wanted to go to oxygen, let's say, and that's our desired, then the little problem, the little conversion factor we're going to do is going to be moles of desired, so moles of O2, over moles of the given, which is CO2, and in this case, the CO2 has the number 3, and the desired, the O2, has the number 5. So that would be our mole-mole ratio. And I call that the heart of the problem, because it usually shows up right in the middle of our conversion. So that is going to go with this to get us from moles of one chemical to moles of the other chemical. Now let's try a problem. So what mass of CO2 is formed when 100 grams of propane reacts? So you can see what happens. We are starting with uh, 100 grams of propane. So we're starting with grams. Then we're going to go to uh, mass of CO2. And that's our desired. So this is our given. This is our desired. And mass is a clue word meaning we were trying to go to grams. So we're going to have to go from grams to moles, okay, moles to moles, and moles back to grams. So that we're going to need a molar mass, a molar mass, and our little heart of the problem, three conversion factors. So let's see if we can set this up. I'm going to clear up my space here. And... Oops. We have various conversion factors to put our, our equation together. So we start off here. Here's our given. We have 100 grams of propane. And, as we've always known, if we're going to have grams of propane, then we're going to use the conversion factor here about the uh, 44 grams per, per mole. And that is just going to be our first conversion. Then we go to our heart of the problem. So in this case here, because it's uh, desired over given, it's three CO2s, and that's coming from the balanced equation, divided by one mole of propane, that comes from our balanced equation, and the last thing is to put in the molar mass of the CO2. So you can see how this works. The grams of propane drop out, the moles of propane drop out, the moles of CO2 drop out, and when we get all done, we get 299 grams of CO2. A little sloppy. 299 grams of CO2. Now the same thing can happen with this next problem. And we can see that our given is 755, 7.55 grams of propane. And we're trying to go this time to the volume at STP. So that means we're going to be after using their 22.4 conversion factor in here. Since we start with grams, we're going to use molar mass, grams per mole, and again the 44.09 because it's propane. And this time, we are saying that we are have a, a grams of propane, that's our given, okay, liters for oxygen, that's our desired. So it's desired over given, O2, which is 5, over C3H8, so 5 and 1 is the conversion factor. And finally, this time we don't want to get to grams, we're trying to get to liters, the volume, so we're going to use 22.4 liters. When we go back and do all these calculations, we come up with 19.2, so 
liters of O2. And that's how these problems are set up.